brought some money out, I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this Smoking shit. big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit. These niggas that was killers from the like, or was gangsters from the house, like. I'm talking about probably killed a couple of my homies, and I still got to talk about them like that. You don't take away from what they, nah, whatever, whoever bro, they I was. Yeah. Take, like, you think if I sit yeah. right here and talk about Lil B or something, I'm going to talk about Lil B like he was a f Like, I wasn't never worried about Lil B, bro. Yeah. Man, my is crazy, bro. Like, I might have said before that he went on that top, top level, but what, what? Bro, Lil B was crazy, bro. Like, it was a couple niggas that was crazy, bro. That I, you just know when you see them niggas Stay going. Stay the fuck out there. Wait, what? Right, let me be on point when I see them. Right, yeah. nigga. If you ain't, yeah. see, when you see them, like, you don't, I don't supposed to see Lil B. Mm -hmm. So whenever I see Lil B, it's that. Mm -hmm. Like, this this either my last day or here. Just like if Lil B was, was alive when Vaughn was doing his thing. You see what I'm saying? It's like. I mean, they never ran across each other because it's like, you not finna catch no real killer because a real killer got the same mindset you got. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's gonna be hard to get up with a That's gonna be some type of back door or something. You gotta send a bitch or something with him or his mans take a sack on him or some type of hit when it come to real killers getting checked out. My mama. Killers and killers think alike, man. You not finna just be out here standing on no motherfucking block and you out here getting busy, getting really wild. Motherfucker really got to work for that body, man. I did about Lil, Lil B, right? So I ain't never trying to like downplay his image, his reputation. I was just saying like my experience with him. You feel me? Like all that shit y'all talking about. I ain't experienced that shit. You feel me? That reckless shit. You feel me? That was some other shit that came about later on in the years. So y'all uh, need to stop out of cap, bro. Like I'm trying to downplay that man. The reputation, what he did, he did. He got nothing to do with me. You feel me? He got nothing to do with the wives. He did that to the other people. You feel me? To them other blocks. Y'all got, they got to worry about that man. But all the time, though, it's still ripped to be. You feel me? It ain't shit. Y'all already know what's going on. We in the building, man. As soon as y'all get in here, smash the like button, say what number y'all lives. Drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. Y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail. We in here talking about Lil B, aka Rashawn Saw, SCL, EBT. God damn it, we gonna start from the beginning, man. So look, Lil B was another one of them members that grew up in the Calumet building. Like everybody know, like people like Lil Reese, Melly, Fredo, Doo-Wop, God damn it, all type of people, they uh, grew up in the Calumet Bell. So Lil B, he another one of them, Vernie, Lil B, he another one of them people who grew up in the Calumet building. So originally, Lil B lived on TYMB. Like he lived on, God damn it, uh, over there by 64th and Ellis, over there by Dro City. You know, he lived in that area and you know, as he would grow up, Lil B, he beat and shit like that. So as he would grow up, he would end up being from around now. You know, like he end up being being tied in with the guys on TMB and shit like that. So from a young age, Lil B was with the bullshit. Like his ass was with the bullshit. So he jumped off the porch early is what I'm saying. So 
he would jump off the porch at an early age and he would end up, you know, sliding on TYB enemies. But the whole time, you know, they was just, they was just, uh, they was just young money at the time, you know, because T.Y. was still alive and shit like that. So, you know, and T.Y. is the cousin of Lil B and shit like that. You know, Courtney and Cortez from T.Y. and B, they also the cousin of Lil B. So, but right now, in the beginning, it's just um, young money, 65th young money. Everybody knows it's young money on 51st, and it's a young money on 65th. They even got a young money uh, they uh called eight hundred young money, a little shorty on eight hundred and shit. So young money, that's like a popular term in the city of Chicago, the wise, goddamn, you know. You see people throwing up the wise, you see people dipping the wise, you know, up north, I ain't even gonna lie. We look at this as Latin King. Like I'm from the north side of Chicago. Like we look at this shit as the kings. You know what I'm saying? But out south and over east this ain't got, I mean, it's still the king, but it's like, it's multiple meanings out south and out east. Like up north, all this shit means is the kings. But out south, this shit mean the kings, and this shit mean young money, 65th, young money, goddamn it, 51st, and you know, young money, 800. But all the time, you know, uh, 800, they separated themselves from, uh, 051, so it's like, shit, they just 800 now. But, so I, Lil B would jump off the porch he, at an early age, sliding on the enemies, uh, Young Money 65th. And some of them people, they would be, that would be like Jaro, you know, like, he ain't necessarily do nothing to EBT, but his ass participated in shit towards Jaro. You know what I'm saying? So, his ass started off on this end, and everybody know how it played out, how he ended up on that end, but we gonna go in order. We gonna go in order. So Lil B, he got a sister named Dominique, and whole time, she was close with King Von. Like, Lil B, blood sister Dominique was close with King Von, and later on down the line, once Lil B started really making a name for himself and started making a lot of enemies and shit, and King Von being one of the enemies that he made, Dominique would, you know, side with her brother. So I guess Lil B tried to put a play together. He knew his sister was close with King Bond and he put his sister on the job, man. Her sister was with that shit. Like Bond being her, like Bond on Twitter calling this girl his twin and all type of shit. And it's like, once shit got real between like Lil B and them and Von and them, Lil B seen the opportunity, like, man, Vaughn, he cool as hell with my sister. I'm finna use my sister to alley oop his ass. We, I'm finna stretch him. Whole time, Vaughn peeped the shit and ended up getting up out the situation before he ended up being a casualty and shit like that. And he rapped about it, and I forgot the name of the song. I forgot it was a feature. I forgot who he did the song with, but he basically said, like, you know, my ops try to put a hit on me. He know I like bad females, so he put a bitch on me. You see what I'm saying? Like he said that the song or whatever, but he talking about the situation with Lil B and Lil B sister. So I, so yeah, Lil B cousin was uh, Courtney and Cortez from uh, 065 Young Money the whole time. Courtney and Cortez, they the ones who, so boom. Everybody knows the Tuka hit, you know, R.P. Tuka. Tuka get took out this shit like 2011. And Courtney and Cortez is the names that always come up. So O.D. from Wick City and Courtney and Cortez from 065 Young Money is always the names that get brought up uh, with the Tuka shit. You know what I'm saying? Because before shit got real, before shit got super real with Wick City, it was... Like, before shit got super real between, uh, between Wick City and STL EBT, it was some shit going on between 065 and STL EBT. You know what I'm saying? The shit just ended up getting out of control to the point where, you know, 065 Young Money allies, which is Oak, which is Wick City and Lamb Runner, they started sticking their head into the uh 065 Young Money shit. Originally, that was 065 Young Money beef, the SCL EBT shit. But shit started getting real, and they allies was old black land right. They wanted to be a part of it too now. So that's how shit started getting out of control. So, all right, boom. 
So look, some shit happened while Lil B still from uh, 065 Young Money at the time. Some shit happened, like I guess Lil B was getting high, you know what I'm saying? He was smoking weed, I don't know what was going on, Fulton was getting high, whatever, and he got a gun and he getting high on some Lil Wayne shit, I'm about to tell you, some Lil Wayne shit. He got a gun, he getting high, and his ass accidentally shot himself on Fulton. He accidentally shot himself. You know, somebody called the police, they hit the gunshots. Police uh, grabbed Lil B, you know, at the end of the day, hospital grab him first, get him together. Then, you know, 12 end up questioning him. And whole time, it's alleged that Lil B tell him, tell 12 that the gun was given to him by a TYMB, by 065 Young Money member. The reason I don't want to say TYMB yet, because TY, the person that TYMB is named, that he's still alive at this point. So we're going to call it 065 Young Money up until the point where we get where TY ends up down. So look, Manny from, so Lil B allegedly tell 12 that Manny from 065 Young Money gave him the gun to, uh, that he ended up shooting himself with. So 12 ended up grabbing Manny and Young Money and them, they end up getting word that Lil B allegedly the reason that Manny got booked. Lil B the reason that Manny and them, Manny got booked and they end up whooping Lil B. They end up violating him, you know what I'm saying? They end up, you know what I'm saying? Beating him up and shit like that. And Lil B, they, so look, Lil B damn near felt some type of way about that shit, about them putting hands on him. Cause eventually it would come out that the shit about him uh, putting the police on Manny, that shit was capped. That shit was, turned out to be false. Like he never told 12 that Manny did shit. So, but by the time that they tried to come back and be like, man, that shit, we just found out that shit back the whole time. We know that you ain't even tell. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even, we don't even look at you as a rat no more the whole time. Lil B done already decided in his head that he don't want to be with them no more. Like, he don't want to be with TYMB the whole time. His ass finna go to EBT. So the reason that he chose EBT is because he always had, like, his mom and them lived, always lived over there, and his sister always lived over there. So he always damn near low-key had ties to over there because his mom and his sister lived over there anyway. So, you know, his ass decided to go over and be from the block where his mom and his sister lived at, which was EBT. And EBT was accepting of him because they already know that he with that shit the whole time, you know. Like, EBT right next to Jaro, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, at the end of the day, when Lil B was doing his shit that he was doing with Young Money against Jaro, like everybody already knowing, like, I right, shorty, he with that shit, you know what I'm saying? So now, so they know that he with that shit just off that, like his ass at an early age sliding on Jaro. So when it was time for him to come be with, uh, when he decided that he wanted to be with EBT, they already looked at him like, okay, we already know your mama and your sister for one, and we know that you with that shit. We seen what you was doing to Jaro now. So I, so Lil B, he ended up becoming a part of EBT. And like I said, EBT, you know, like bro, all them hoods over there like shit. 600 had GDs at the 600 BD set, but they had GDs at the time. STL, I guess, would be considered a GD set, but they got GDs and BDs. Gyro would be considered, I guess, a GD set, but they got GDs, BDs, and Stones. So it's like, you know, EBT, I guess, would be considered a GD set. And Lil B was a BD, but like I just said with all them other sets, they not honoring that nation shit. Like, they looking at your ass like, I right, it's like, like this, what we we EBT, you know what I'm saying? They like we 600, we Jaro, like they don't care. Like FBG Brick was a BD, goddamn it, Lil J was a BD. They asked with STL and Tukaville and GD set, goddamn it, you know, all type of shit. It's a, it's a lot of examples, you know. Jaro is like a GD set, but Moda and Skinny is BDs, you know what I'm saying? And they Jaro City crazy, so it's like. Ain't nobody really honoring that nation shit. It's we really honoring our set for real over everything. Like we honoring our set over the nation, you know. So 
it don't matter that you a BD. As long as you with the Jaro shitty shit, that's all that matter. So I, so like I said, T.Y. from Ocean 5 Young Money is Lil B. Cousin. Courtney and Cortez from Ocean 5 Young Money is Lil B. Cousin. But we talking about T.Y. right now. So look, you know, and shout right that cousin shit sometimes it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes that shit don't matter. So while Lil B was with EBT, some people from EBT ended up sliding on Oh shit, fire your money. Looking for somebody to catch, and they end up catching T.Y. They get T.Y. up out of here, and Oh shit, fire your money. Change their name to T.Y. and B, which stands for Ty, you're my brother. Ty, you're my brother, T.Y. and B. So look, Lil B homies killed, killed Lil B cousin. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's, you know, like, you know, and this is a situation where it's like, you know, shit so crazy in a rat because it's like, I'll be damn near mm-hmm. harping on the 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 Duck and Melly shit, the Raheem shit, you know. I'll be damn near saying shit towards Duck sometimes in these videos because I feel like, you know, Duck look crazy for still being buddy-buddy with Melly after Melly killed your little cousin Raheem that you love, that you went to his funeral, you know, just to pay your respect. Like, I, you know, but this is just another example right here. This T.Y. Lil B, EBT, old Young Money shit. This is just another example to show that that cousin shit damn near don't hold as much weight in the trenches, you know, like, as, you know, that shit messed up, but like, yeah, so Lil B homies end up killing Lil B cousin and Young Money end up changing their hood from uh, young, OC5 Young Money to T-Y-M-B, Ty, you're my brother. And the whole time, the, you know, the people who did the shit, who allegedly did the shit to T-Y, they end up getting booked and going to jail for the shit, get charged with murder, all type of shit. Lil B homies end up getting booked for the murder of his cousin, which was T-Y, they end up going to jail, I think they say um, Chicken and Taki. But I think Taki end up beating the shit, and I think Chicken end up, you know, end up getting sentenced for the shit. But, um, yeah. So, I, right. Lil B, I right, so Lil B, he from EBT at this point, so, you know, it's crazy because he end up getting cool with people from Jaro and doing a lot of shit with people from Jaro my whole time he used to be shooting at people from Jaro when he was with Ocean 5 Young Money but now he from EBT and you know he doing shit with older EBT members and he doing shit with um you know Jaro members that's his age now before I get into this shit I just want to let you know in the year 2011 alone Really, in a few months span, but, you know, in the year 2011 alone, you know, Lil B ended up catching four bodies, bro. Like, shorty ass was like 17, and his ass was just trigger happy, and he was just, like, overdoing this part. So it's like, you know, the stories, the Mally, Vaughn, T-Roy, this one of them. Like, this one of them type of stories. But, um, so, a person that Lil B with be super tied in with and start doing a lot of shit with would be Tutu. Tutu from Jaro. You know, Chief Keep used to be dissing this man all the time in his songs and shit. You know, not Lil B Tutu. Like, Chief Keep used to be dissing Tutu all the time. Like, you know, the shit that I, you know, the, um, the shit that, a lot, that I heard a lot about Tutu was that Tutu was chill as hell. You would have never thought he was doing shit like for them like little as hell, light skin, goddammit, you know, like like you would never think that for them was just laid like laid back, cool as hell. You would never think that he was that like a player. Like that's the shit that, that I heard a lot about Tutu. Like he was just a player, the coolest little dude ever. You would have never thought that he was out there doing shit, but his ass with that shit. He's out there with Lil B and they was doing all type of shit. So boom. Lil B would link with Tutu and one of the first, like Lil B first body would be a person from 600. 
a person named Jizzle from 600, which was actually a GD. Like I said, Jizzle was a GD from 600. Lil B was a BD from EBT. So Jizzle a GD from a BD set. Lil B a BD from a GD set. You see what I'm saying? Like, folk them honoring, they not honoring the nation, bro. They honoring the set. They honoring they block. Like, you know, but uh, Lil B, Link with Tutu, they walking. It's two groups of cra two groups walking. You know, Jizzle, damn near allegedly then took, got two bodies at this point. So he out here doing shit like Jizzle from 600. He out here doing shit too. You know, Lil B and Tutu, they damn near this finna be their first shit for real. You know, it was said that five days before this shit though that they end up shooting somebody in Parkway and you know what I'm saying? But the people, a man and a woman, but they end up surviving. So, you know, I think Lil B and Tutu, they was just trying to, they just trying to catch some shit. They were trying to like, you know, they, they trying to catch a body. You see what I'm saying? They just tried five days before this shit. And you know, they, they shot some people, but they survived the whole time. Like, all right, you know, so, when they see Jizzle, they, they got guns on them and they thirsty. So they start running up on Jizzle and Jizzle see him coming and he tried to get up out of there, but they already start open fire. Jizzle running, Jizzle end up getting hit. He end up falling and uh, Lil B and Tutu end up running up to him, standing over him and, you know, just overshooting him and shit like that. So Jizzle would get taken to the hospital there, pronounce him dead and shit. And, you know, I think Jizzle's mom got grabbed by the police. And, you know, when they questioned her, she had told them, she told 12, she like, look, if the word and already got out on the street that somebody named Lil B did this shit. So, you know, the whole time, you know, just like all these other situations down about the name, 12 ain't never have enough evidence to charge Lil B with no murder. Like, 12 charged Lil B with Lil Petty shit and, you know, made, made him sit down for, like, uh, a month here, a month there, a few months here, a few months there, but never had enough evidence to charge him with no homicide. So, I, right. You know, G Skinny and Lil Darrell ended up getting booked Later on in 2017, just like Lil B ended up dying in 20. The, the, the murder that I'm talking about happened in 11. Lil B ended up dying in 14. Skinny and Lil Darrell end up getting grabbed in like 17. So the shit that I'm talking about is like way up real. I just gotta fast forward so I can say this shit real fast. So look, in 2017, G Skinny ended up getting booked for some shit. Lil Darrell ended up getting booked for some shit the whole time. Well, Lil Durrell ain't get booked for no shit. Skinny got booked for some shit. He wanted to get up out the back door. So he ended up snitching on the 2011 murder. In 2017, Skinny snitched on the 2011 murder of Jizzle. And was like, you know, to get out of whatever he got booked for. So Lil B was already dead by the whole time, you know. Like, you know, Skinny, he ended up... Uh, to try to get out of where he was uh, getting booked for, he ended up telling on the murder of Jizzle. And the whole time, that's what led to Lil Darrell end up getting booked. They just ran, Lil Darrell didn't get grabbed for no fucking drugs or no, he ain't do no, he ain't do shit. Like, the reason that 12 grabbed Darrell is because of what Skinny told him. Mm -hmm. And now they trying to get Darrell to cooperate the shit that Skinny said. So, you know, Darrell ended up telling him the same thing that Skinny told him. And it's like, shit, they ended up closing that homicide. Like, they ended up closing, like, a few homicides years later off the shit that Skinny and Darrell said. But all right, boom, that's that shit, you know. Yeah, that's that shit right there. You know, it make you think, yeah, I ain't, I ain't even finna get into all that shit. I'm not even finna get into that shit. But, uh, cause I already talked about that shit. But, uh, alright, now, now Lil B, he riding around with the Oso Boom. That first incident he did with a younger Jaro, a younger Jaro City member that was around his same age, Tutu. Now, this other situation that Lil B ended up being a part of, 
his ass was riding around with the old the EBT members. Like, he riding around with the big dogs of EBT. And they're like, I really think this was on some, you know, like, they already know he with the shit, but I really think this was on some, like, man, I'm about to show the big dogs how I'm coming type shit. So, I, he riding around with, you know, some older members and shit. I ain't gonna say their name and shit. Folding them be crazy saying they they name. But look, I ain't gonna say their names, but you know, cause they still alive. Some of them moved away, got away with this shit and live in whole nother states and started a whole new life. Folding them out there saying they name like they did and shit. But look, you know, I ain't gonna do all that. I'm just gonna say the older homie. So look, love B riding around with some of the older EBT members you know, the, the blocks that EBT is in tour with is people like TYMB, Trap City, you know, and, and we'll go on to be uh, old block and 600 and shit like that. So it's like, I right, he riding around with the older EBT member. They on Trap City shit. They looking for somebody. They trying to catch somebody. So they, they see somebody named Rio. They see somebody named Rio from uh, Trap City and you know, Lil B just drop his window, put his uh, the gun out the window, and just open fire. He hit Rio multiple times. And it's like, you know, uh, paramedics come grab Rio, take him to the hospital. He get pronounced dead at the hospital and shit like that. So it's like, and then, you know, it was being said that, You know, like a lot of times it'd be like some, sometimes it'd be personal situations where it's like, you know, sometimes it don't always be like, oh, you from this end, I'm from this end, so I'm on bullshit with you. Sometimes it'd be personal situations where people do shit to people. But the whole time, there was not, nothing between Lil B and Rio. The only reason that Lil B did that shit is be the first shit I said. It's like Rio from Trap City, Lil B from EBT, Lil B know he, uh, somebody that, you know, we into it with. So that's why Lil B did shit. It wasn't on no personal shit between them. It was just you from that block, I'm from this block type shit. So, you know, that's why uh, Lil B took Rio out this shit. That'll be his second situation that he is involved in. Look, I so I Lil B end up catching Rio from Trap City. You know, for the people who don't like, I ain't gonna lie, the most notable person from, it's crazy to say this, but one of the most notable people from Trap City at this point in time, uh, April 2024, is OTF Black. Everybody know OTF Black, that's like Lil Varney, you know what I'm saying? So one of his people that, you know, like he, he claimed he Lil Varney legs, like the shit that Lil Varney can't do, he gonna do. But, you know, it's like a few, uh, like it's a like a live that you know OTF Black had with EBT Baby Greg and TYB Courtney and shit like that, you know. And it's like, so yeah, Black would be like OTF Black. He would be like one of the most notable noticeable people at this point right now from Trap City. That's the block that Rio from and shit like that. Everybody know BG. That's the block that Lil B EBT BG. That's the block that uh. Lil B from and TYMB Courtney, that's the block that Lil B used to be from and Lil B cousin and shit like that. So, all right, that's that. Now, Lil B would, you know, get on bullshit with Parkway at the time, you know, but at this time it's considered old block because I think that OD, I think OD end up getting took out this shit. So, you know, Lil B would be lurking. And I ain't even gonna lie, like Lil B, his ass was like a problem for them now, all the blocks that he was into it with. But this would be one of the times that he would be lurking on old block, you know, looking for an old block member to do something to or whatever. And you know, old block J Hood speak on this shit. Like I guess old block J Hood was, you know, just came from outside and was walking upstairs, you know, right when this shit happened. So, you know, I guess Old Block J Hood, he would probably was out there with Oki and Platoon. So, all right, whatever. Old Block J Hood end up leaving. And, you know, Oki and Platoon is still outside. I guess Lil B popped out the cut. I believe it was Tutu with him, if I'm not mistaken. Lil B and Tutu popped out the cut. And 
There's some other shit that he did with Tutu. Like this, like that's why people be saying that they surprised about Tutu because of how laid back, cool, and how much of a player that he was. My whole time, Tutu was out here doing shit like the Jizzle shit. Now you got this shit, so boom. I guess Lil B and Tutu end up popping out the cut and open fire on Ogie and Platoon. Now whole time, they stood over both of them. Like, you know, like, it's crazy because it's like they stood over Ugi and Platoon. They shot both of them multiple times. But, you know, when Jay Hood said he came outside, he found Ogi and Ogi was like, Ogi had been shot in the face, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? They shot him all up and they shot him in the face. Miraculously, Ugi ended up surviving. You know what I'm saying? He's still, if I'm not mistaken, I think he's still out there right now. But, but you know, uh, Jay Hood will walk over a little bit more and he say he, that's when he stumbled upon Platoon and Platoon was stretched. Like, Platoon was like overstretched, you know, not moving, all type of shit, you know. It's, he he could overly tell, like, yeah, Platoon, you know what I'm saying? Like, pulling them, he not pulling them, they got him up out of here. But the whole time, Oogie miraculously, like, they stood over, but Oogie just the same way they stood over Platoon, but, you know. I, you know, I guess God was with Ogie that day because Ogie ended up surviving and shit. Like, I'm talking about they shot him in the face and everything, but he still lived type shit. So it's like, you know, like miracle type shit. So look, this would be, this would be Lil B third situation that he involved in. He already got Jizzle from 600, Rio from Trap City. Now he got Platoon from O-Block. He tried to get Ogie from O-Block, but Ogie ended up surviving. So I... Now, before I get into these last three situations, I'm just going to uh, run down a whole bunch of miscellaneous situations that Lil B was shooting people, trying to shoot people, uh, trying to catch people, but he ain't never, he, like, like in these situations, ain't nobody check from these situations, but he's just trying to make people check. You know, these these basically the situations where Lil B was trying to get people up out of here and he just ain't get him up out of hell, you know what I'm saying? But he definitely was trying, though. So, I, right, you know, it was a situation where he slid on TYB. He slid on his old block, you know, like shit. You know, the block that he used to be a part of before he ended up getting violated for allegedly putting the police on Manny. But it came out that that shit was false. He never did put the police on many, but TYB already whooped him and violated him. Like, mm. mind you, this after he done shot himself. He shot his, he got high, shot himself. And you know, Manny ended up getting booked and they thought that he told the police on Manny the whole time he did it and God damn it, TYB whooped him for that shit. So this like they beat the shit out of him like not after not after not too long got the heat and popped itself. So it's like you gotta think about it like shit. This man probably had a uh uh you know what I'm saying? Like a actively bullet wound that's healing and y'all putting hands and feet on them, you know what I'm saying? Like folding them probably took that shit all type of way. Like, man, you know, and like I said, you know, he ended up going to E B T and shit like that. But uh, so you know, Lil B, he's sliding on TYB. He's shooting at them. They end up making a video after he did that shit. Like, man, Lil B just came through shoot, shooting at us. His ass a goofy. They end up making all type of rumors. They try to put a gay rumor on it, but all that shit capped. They just mad because he was blowing at their ass. Like, he used to be cool with them. They used to be cool with him. They did some shit that they shouldn't have did because he never told on Manny. He went to another block and... You know, and he blowing at their ass, and they mad. So it's like they saying all type of goof ass shit about him. So it's like, all right, he's sliding on TM, TYMB, trying to pop their ass. He allegedly shot D Rose in the stomach from D Rose from 600. Allegedly shot him in the stomach. You know what I'm saying? D Rose ended up surviving, surviving. He still here to this day. You know, tried to get D Rose up out of here. You know, D Rose just ended up surviving. Four them was wait. It was incident where. You know, Lil B was waiting outside. Like, if you ask me who I feel like Lil B was applying the most pressure to, I feel like it probably was 600. You know, 600 and, yeah, probably was 600. You know, probably was 600. Might be Trap City, though. 
it's between 600 Trap City and Old Block, but it's like, all right, he already got Jizzle from 600 up out of hell. He popped D Rose in the stomach. D Rose ended up surviving. And now it's a situation where Lil B waiting outside, see they mama crib. He waiting outside, see they crib, because I guess he feel like see they up in there. And you know, see they mama had to end up coming outside the crib and on some shit like, I'm about to call the police. I'm about to call the police type shit. And then, goddamn it, you know, Lil B and them end up getting up out of there. So it's like, but I feel like he was applying a lot of pressure to 600 though. But I, right. it was a situation where he ran up on Ocho, Ocho from uh, O Block, Ocho Mana, you know, and he ended up putting gun to Ocho head and end up pulling the trigger, but the gun jammed, and you know, Ocho was able to get up out of that little B ran because like you know what I'm saying, it's gun jam or whatever, and but like shit, that's like shit, like. Like shit, I don't care how you look at that shit like shit. He tried to kill Ocho, you know what I'm saying? It just so happened that his gun jam and Ocho ended up making up at that situation. But shit, like his ass had bad intentions on my son. I is another situation where, you know, now this on his, his own end type shit. It's another situation where, you know, Lil B, I went to jail for a little bit. Like I said, he would get booked you know, for a month here, a month there, a few months here, a few months there, but never no homicide. Like, he never sat down for no homicide or whatever. So, even with all this hands he had in these homicides, he never got booked for a homicide. So, it's like, I, you know, will be sitting down for a few months at a time, and I guess his old lady at the time said that Cole... was trying to talk to his girl, like Cole from STL, like, you know, EBT, STL, they two different blocks, but they joint together, you know, you're going to look at it like they joined together, so it's like, all right, Cole from STL was, uh, I guess, Lil B girl said that Cole was trying to talk to her or whatever, so it's like when Lil B got out of jail, his ass ran down on Cole, asked him about the situation, told Cole, like, man, like, shit, you trying to talk to my girl or whatever? And Cole told Lil B to get his goof ass up out of here. Lil B up ratchet, cocked back, and popped Cole ass in the leg. You know, he shot him in the air. And they was at a dice game, whatever. Everybody at the dice game got up out of there. You know, Cole on the ground, like, holding his leg, you know? So, yeah, man. Cole on the ground, holding his leg, you know? And, you know, Cole ended up going to the hospital. Allegedly, I guess Trenches News was with Cole in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? God damn it. You know, moral support, whatever. You know, like shit. All the shit that's, you know, even though Trenches News got that police shit on his name, one thing we can't say is that he wasn't there for a lot of situations. Like, I told him he, he was there for a lot of situations. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just one of the situations. Like, when Cole was in the hospital healing up from the time Lil B shot him in the leg, Swipe was there, you know, but uh, I. So, I so that's all the little miscellaneous situation where he popped people but didn't kill them. It's probably some more, but that's just a few for y'all and shit like that. So I, you know, moving on to the fourth situation that, and when I say situation, I mean homicide. I'm just trying to be smooth about it. So moving on to the fourth situation that Lil B had his hand in, you know. This turned out to be a civilian. Lil B and a person that I'm not gonna name because they in jail right now, you know, fighting, you know what I'm saying, whatever they fighting or whatever, the whole time, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna say the person's name because like they still here and I don't wanna get them wrapped up in no homicides and shit like that. If a person dead, we'll talk about it, but all the people that are still alive or the people in jail, you know what I'm saying, you know, shit, we ain't gonna bring their names up. So, all right, Lil B and the unnamed person is what we're gonna say. They was out robbing. They out robbing. And, you know, goddammit, I guess a car full of civilians. This is a civilian case, bro. This ain't even no opposition or none of that shit. But, you know, it's a situation. It's a homicide. So, it's like, you know, that Lil B was involved in it. So, we're gonna speak on it. So, I guess the civilians. A car full of civilians coming from the bar after a night out of having fun, drinking and shit like that. God damn it, they pull up on 64th and Alice. 
Lil B and an unnamed person running up to the car and tell their ass to give them up guns and tell their ass to give them everything they got. One of the people that's in the car, scared to shell, take their watch off, like hunt type shit. But as soon as that person did that shit, the driver end up trying to drive off. They drive off type shit. Lil B end up unloading on the car and he end up hitting the driver in the head and the driver end up checking out and you know, Lil B and the unnamed person end up running away and shit like that. But whole time, you know, that shit, it just hit different when the civilian, like when they ain't got, a person ain't got nothing to do with it. Some people might be like, man, you shouldn't have drove off, but at the end of the day, like shit, you know, like ain't nobody really earning too much of, like we ain't really earning, like, you know, God damn it, you know, any of this shit for real, but it's like when it's a civilian, it's like, damn, bro, yo ass, boats to sell, like, I right, they drove off. You got the watch, you know what I'm saying? But I guess you mad because you didn't get the other shit, they drove off. Fulton was like, he was a menace. Like, Fulton was a real menace. Like, so since they drove off and you ain't getting none of the other shit that you wanted to get, you gonna unload on the car. So you you know what I'm saying? The driver end up getting hitting the head and dying and shit like that. But that would be considered the fourth situation that Lil B had his hand in, you know. So I right, moving on to the fifth situation. The fifth situation that Lil B would have his hand in would be another part from Trap City. That's why I said like if I had to choose between the blocks that Lil B applied the most pressure to, it would be between Trap City six hundred and O Block. You know, because I don't think he really caught no bodies on his old block, TYB. He probably rolled through TYB blowing at their ass, you know, but I don't think he never got nobody out of that from over there. But um, Lil B and some of the EBT guys, they ass would be, you know, they slide through Trap City looking for somebody to catch and you know, they end up running across somebody named Scooter. Scooter from Trap, you know, Scooter from Trap City. You know, same black, so boom, Lil B already got Rio from Trap City. And now, you know, he would end up getting somebody named Scooter from Trap City, you know. Lil B would open fire on Scooter. You know, ambulance would come grab Scooter, take him to the hospital and Scooter would be pronounced dead. So that's the fifth situation that Lil B had his hand in. Now, this six situation, six in this last, the six in the last situation that Lil B would have his hand in would be probably one of the most talked about incidents that Lil B had his hand in. Like I said, this six situation that Lil B ended up having his hand in was probably the most talked about situation that Lil B ended up being a part of. So look, you know, the person I'm talking about is Jay Money. People working on, I guess, the apartment downstairs. But the uh, the person I'm talking about is Jay Money from Oak Block. So the whole time, you know, it was being like it was a lot of rumors floating around that Mona Lisa from Oak Block set Jay Money up. It was a lot of rumors floating around that you know somebody set Jay Money up. Now the whole time. It came out that somebody did set up Jay Money, but it wasn't Mona Lisa, you know. It turns out that a female named Smokey, a female named Smokey from over there by, uh, you know, like, I'm hearing that this, you know, I'm hearing that, like, Smokey was actually the baby mama of Jay Money. I'm, this shit crazy. Like, it's being said that Smokey was actually the baby mama of Jake Money. So look, you know, allegedly, Smokey damn near had a hand in this shit. So boom. Lil B was riding in a car with somebody, probably Smokey, but we ain't even going to say that at this point. You know, I'm hearing that she had a hand in it, but I don't know if she was necessarily the person that Lil B was riding with. So Lil B was riding in the car with somebody, and they ride past a laundromat, and they see Jay Money, Prince Dre, and E Dog at the laundromat. Jay Money doing his laundry and shit like that. So the person driving around the block, 
let uh let Lil B out. I think it was on six. They let him out on 66 and Rose. If I'm not mistaken, they let him out and Lil B. But before before all this shit happened, Lil B damn near peeked out the window and to see if it was really Jay Money and it was him. So the person driving around the block on 66 and Rose let Lil B out the car and Lil B run through the gangway. He run through the cut and as Jay Money is. Loading his clothes in the back seat of the car, Lil B just just unloads his gun like Lil B just open fire on him and shit like that. You know, J Money instantly start running. J Money instantly start running. Boom, Lil B running after him, just 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 blowing, blowing, running after him. Boom, goddamn it, uh, J Money end up getting hit like in his lower body type shit, but he's still trying to run type shit. You know, and little but little B still on the still shooting, still chasing, still shooting. Now, you know, after a little while, as J Money uh, trying to run after being hit, you know, little B end up getting the best on. He end up, you know, hitting him in his upper part. You know what I'm saying? And goddamn it, you know the shit graphic is here, like you know. Say money end up getting hit up in the head, but it, like it was said that you know, one of the uh, times he got hit, I think they said it came through his back and came out his mouth. Like the shit get it get real graphic and shit like that. But you know, it was a it was it was a it was it was a definitely one of them scenes where it's like you know, you hope that no pictures ever surface, you hope no video ever surface because it's like you know that shit you know. That shit, just me describing the shit, it's graphic as hell. So it's like, you could just imagine how it'd be if you saw the shit. But, uh, yeah, I'm not even, I don't even think that the, the paramedics took him. I don't, I don't even think he got pronounced dead at the hospital. I think he was pronounced dead right there on the same type of shit. But, uh, yeah, for a long time, it was speculated that, you know, Mona Lisa had something to do with it. It's crazy because Prince Dre and E Dog was there when the shit happened. The whole time it came out that Jay Money's baby mama, Smokey, allegedly had something to do with that shit and shit like that. But um, yeah, man, that ended up being a six and the last situation that Lil B was involved in and shit like that. So boom. Like, so even though that was the last, like, homicide that Lil B was involved in, he still was trying to commit more homicides. Like, so boom, a week before Lil B ended up getting taken out this shit by 12, you know, it said that phone them ass slid through Tay Town and popped three people, you know what I'm saying? Like, a triple shooting, like, he tried to, you know, he tried to add three more to his shit. He tried to get their ass up out of here, but you know, fortunately they end up surviving. But like a week before he died type shit, he end up, you know, he end up firing up three people from Tape Town and shit. So I fast forward to I think it's March 29th, 2014, if I'm not mistaken. So look, the 12, 12 was on Lil B ass because, you know, even before G Skinny told in 2017 as a legend that his ass already told like on some other shit that Lil B had did and and Lil B had suspicion that people was telling you know like there's a video of him walking up the block and Young walking up the block like Lil B walking this way and Young walking this way and god damn it like young up phone, like man, look, we out here on the block. Look, here go Lil B, here go Rasan, and Lil B just walk past their ass like y'all last some goofies. Like I don't even mess with y'all type shit. So boom. So it was rumors that you know people was already telling on Lil B. Not just the 2017 shit with G Skinny told. It's like it was it was already rumors that they had already told on them. So 12 end up all right. So 12. So boom. Long story short. That's why 12 was on his ass. Like, 
12 was on Lil BF, they know like he was responsible for a lot of the shit that was going on around him. So, or that was going on in the area and shit like that. So on March 24th, 2014, the day that the shit happened, you know, 12 is a legend that they seen Lil B involved in a drug deal. They tried to run down on him because of the drug deal, but I ain't even gonna lie, like shit, if you let the streets tell the Lil B ain't wasn't involved with no damn selling no drugs, his ass was out here sliding and getting people up out of here. Like that's all he was on. Like he wasn't, you know, into selling drugs to nothing. He was a straight shooter. He was a killer. Like that's all he was on type shit. So it's like, you know, just uh hearing about them saying like, no, he was involved in the drug deal. That's why, like that shit damn near fall on death. It don't register a little bit. Cause it's like, man, dude ass wasn't into no damn phone was out here strictly stretching shit. Like that's all he was on. So it's like, I, right, but this was 12 saying, 12 saying that they seen them participating in a drug deal. They run down on them. Lil B run. God damn it. Um, they saying that, you know, like they caught him in the alley or whatever, and <clears throat> they saying they upped the guns and told him <clears throat> to freeze or some shit like that. And so it's two, it's two stories. So the police story is that they run down on him, they try to get him to stop, you know, and they say Lil B turned around with a gun and opened fire on them, and so they opened fire on him and they end up killing him. That's the police story. The other story is that Lil B didn't up no gun on Twitter. They ran down on Lil B ran, and while Lil B was trying to jump a gate, they opened fire on my son. They opened fire on him and shit like that. And you know what I'm saying? Like that would make sense to why the public went crazy after that. Like the neighborhood, like the hood that the shit happened in went crazy, they started a riot, you know what I'm saying? Like they ass was out there trying to fight the police and everything because it's like shit. Like I said, the second story is that he was trying to jump a gate and they just opened fire while he was trying to jump a gate. So it's like y'all killed him. Like that was them y'all y'all that was a murder. Y'all killed him like you know, he ain't up and pointing at y'all or none of that shit. Fulton was actually trying to drop. Like, the story of him trying to jump a gate and the police just killing, like, just shooting and killing him would make sense why that riot came, like, you know, the way it came after that shit. You know, y'all story, the police story of, no, he had a gun. He up gun and sh turned around and shot at us. Like, why the hell did, would it be a riot after that day? Like, if he shot at y'all and goddamn it, and y'all return fire and kill him, why the hell would a riot happen after that when the whole time he was shooting at y'all and y'all shot back? Like, ain't no riot finna happen. Like, like somebody was shooting at the police, the police shot and killed their ass. End of story. Like, what's the need for a riot for? You know? But the second story of him trying to jump a gate and y'all just shooting and killing him, that damn, that story would make sense why a riot would happen with, and the riot did happen. So it's like, when you, you put it like that, you kind of believe the second story. Like, all right, he must have been trying to really jump a gate and y'all just shot and killed him. And that's why the riot happened. So the riot happened, the police trying to, uh, people in the neighborhood, they trying to fight the police and shit like that. And like three people end up getting arrested and shit like that. Like people ain't finna get themselves arrested for somebody who's shooting at the police, like, all right, we know, like, why the hell I'm finna go to jail? Yo ass started shooting at the police and they shot and killed your ass. Like, I ain't finna go to jail for that shit. Like, you dumb as hell, you shot at the police. Like, when well, I'm finna go to jail cause you shot at the police for like, ain't no injustice here. Like, ain't no like, oh, police brutality, ain't none of that shit. Like, whole time, you know, did some shit. And they got up with your ass for that shit. Like, I'm not finna go to jail for because your ass shot the police and they killed your ass. But if you just running from the police and you trying to jump a gate and they open fire and kill you, why you trying to jump the gate? You ain't pointing a gun at them or nothing. You just jumping the gate and they just shoot you all in your back and kill you. I can see why some people might go to jail and put they self because, like, that's bogus. That's police brutality. That's an injustice. Y'all shot and killed that man. And, you know, a lot of people, they ain't with that shit. So I can see why people would go to jail behind that shit, you know. 
and three it was a riot that happened and three people end up getting arrested behind that shit. but uh yeah man you know that's how little b end up getting taken out this shit. like it's a whole video of take upon speaking about like yeah you know when uh when Lil B died at the hands of the police, just take a poem from 600. When Lil B died at the hands of the police, he's saying a lot of folk them on this end, on 600 end, was mad. They was mad about that shit because it's like, you know, you know, they wanted to get him. You know what I'm saying? Like, they wanted to get him up out of hell for a jizzle, for D Rose getting shot in the stomach, for a goddamn it, you know, y'all sitting outside, see they mama crib, goddamn it, uh, Platoon, um, J Money, you know what I'm saying? Like these is all take upon homies that's not here no more because of Lil B. So it's like, phone them said, you know, uh, him and the guys on on that end from 600 was blue. They was kind of blowed by the fact that he, the police killed him. Like they was on some shit, like they want to kill him type shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man. Lil B definitely was out here causing, Fulton was a real menace, man. You know, his ass was out here causing havoc. You know, his ass was a real threat. He actually said in a tweet, before he died, he said in a tweet, he like, man, he posted, he tweeted this on Twitter. He said, man, the police gonna kill me because the ops not on shit. You know, it's crazy how you speak your shit into existence. Like, you know, he manifested that shit because it's like, that's how it happened. Like the pol police killed Lil B on March 29th, uh, 2014. But yeah, man, like I said, Lil B has started doing shit in like 07. You know, he ain't really catch no bodies, but he was like, he was sliding and shooting at people. Who sh when he was with t uh, 065 Young Money, he was shooting at Jaro. But from 2011 to 2014, like his ass shot multiple people, multiple attempt murders, six murders and multiple attempt murders from in the three year span from 2011 to 2014, all the way up to the point in, in, in March 29, 2014, to the police uh, finally took him up out the shit. But yeah, man, that story, Lil B, like you have like all the people on FBGN rapping about him, you know, Duck rap about him, Lil J rap about him, goddammit, butt out here, can't stop merching on him, you know. K.I. when she was here, she all, uh, she, you know what I'm saying? She held him in high regards or whatever. And, you know, like I seen a video of EBT, Baby Greg, speaking on Lil B and Kane Vine. Because it's like, all right, Kane Vine was from O Block doing what he was doing. Lil B was from EBT doing what he was doing. The whole time, you know, I guess a fan asked BG, like, damn, so why they ain't never come across each other? Like, Vine killing all Lil B homies. Lil B killing all Vaughn, homie. Why Vaughn and Lil B ain't never come across each other? And uh, Baby Greg was on some shit like, look, man, they both was basically the same people on different sides. They both was killers or whatever. And it's like, when you think, like, when a killer, like, like, when, like, when two killers, damn near, they think alike or whatever type shit, Fulton was on some shit like, you know, it's gonna be hard to catch another person that think exactly like you, because you either always lurking put up or you sliding or whatever you know what i'm saying like you damn near in motion ain't too much kicking ain't too much partying when you on that type of time or whatever so both both of them basically were saying like look they both had the same mindset and when you a killer and you think like a killer it's gonna be hard to catch another killer like you gotta work for that shit and it's like he basically chalked that shit up to that's why they never came across each other another reason why they never came across each other is because No, I ain't gonna. I was finna say that uh, Vaughn and Vaughn was locked up during a lot of the time that EBT was doing it, uh, that uh, Lil B was doing this thing, but whole time, like, no, nah, like, Vaughn ass was out around the same. I mean, Vaughn probably went to jail, like, for a few months here and there while Lil B was doing his shit. Lil B probably went to jail a few months here and there while Vaughn was out doing this shit, but for the most part, they ass was out at the same time, for the most part. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I was just talking up to what Baby Greg said. It's like, they both had the same mindset. It's like, they both was like, like, they were the same people, just on different sides type shit. And it's like, 
when you got that type of mindset, it's gonna be hard to get up with somebody. Like you, you look at both of the situations. It's like I, right, you know, Lil B got killed by the police. Bond got killed uh, by the. Po- by the police, like like people say, Lil Tim killed him, but Lil Tim shot that man twice, man. The police shot him six times. Bond got hit eight times. Two times for Lil Tim, six times for the police. So if you ask me, all right, Lil Tim killed him, but the police killed him. The Atlanta police killed him, so it's like shit. Like, Lil B got killed by the police. Bond got killed by the police. So it's like, I guess it make like, this is what I'm saying. Like, they the same, they was the same people, just on a different side. They both had the same mindset. So basically, Baby Greg was, basically talking it up so that's why they never came across each other because you know they end up having the same mindset and shit like that but uh now nah, rp everybody that i spoke on in this video rp lil b rp the, all the people that got took out this shit by lil b you know y'all already know what's going on shout out everybody who's still alive that i uh named that i brought up in this shit you know salute to y'all but uh Y'all already know what's going on, man. If y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is, drop location so we can shout out the way everybody from. Make sure y'all watch all the way to the end of the video so y'all can see all the ways to tap into the channel. And y'all already know, man, make sure y'all go get y'all OTM merch. Make sure y'all go mess with all the links in the description. Episode 2, CSC Go to World with Bloggers. Episode 2 is out now. Episode one with Treasure News, episode two with Lil Varney. You know, this is all shits from damn near last year, 2023. I got everything archived, so it's like all this, you know, it ain't nothing for me to say. Like Throwback Thursday, all the shit that happened last year, all the little beats I got into it with, you know. I got probably like five, six, or seven situations. And, you know, I'm dropping them once a month, so it's like I already dropped the situation I had with Treasure News. Now, I just recently dropped yesterday the situation I had with Lil Barney. So, it's like, you know, y'all go in the description so y'all can check that shit out. Uh, but, yeah, go mess with all the links in the description. Make sure y'all, see y'all watch all the way to the end of the video so y'all can see all the ways to tap into the channel. But, uh, yeah, make sure y'all go get y'all OTM merch. Y'all already know what's going on. But, like I said, make sure y'all smash the like button, say what number y'all is. Drop location so we can shout out to where everybody from. Shout out everybody. Keep putting up, man. Y'all already know what's going on. I brought some money out. I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone. They be like, fuck this Smoking shit. big granddaddy. Look for them over stuff. My blood and shit. If I kidnap granny, you gon' be mad as motherfucker. Hey. Got the kickback addy. I come through strength as motherfucker. Hey. Bad bitch red tatted. And hit hey. hey. them black as motherfucker.
brought some money out, I be flexing when I was drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me, they throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy, little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit.